Maria, White Mountain Apache Tribe and Navajo Nation, is a creative writing BFA student and was the inaugural Youth Poet Laureate of Phoenix. She's been featured by Teen Vogue as one of 2022's 21 Under 21. Yep. And as one of 11 Indigenous youth making a difference in their communities. Saria shared her poem, I Am, and won Ms. A-I-H-E-C at the 2023 American Indian Higher Education Consortium Conference. And if that's not enough, if you haven't had enough, she's also a Unity Earth Ambassador, a member of Young Women for Reproductive Justice Youth Council, and an intern for the Intertribal Agricultural Council. Wow. Well, Saria is very special, and she is just one of many women and girls being celebrated here who all have their stories. Um, Saria is being recognized by her friends at IAIA. Um, and welcome, Saria, for, and this will be a very heartfelt, I think, to me, very profound, heartfelt poem. Saria. Good morning. Good morning. She is a Taylor Jose, she is a Tudor Athlete, and she is a low cop, but she is a top class, she is a lag class, and she is a Taylor Jose, she is a Taylor Jose, she is a Taylor Jose. My name is Saria. I am White Mountain Apache in Navajo. I am one heart molded by my grandma Rita's soft tortilla making hands, toes red from Pacific waters. I am the fog of cowboy coffee made by my grandpa. Blue words and blue birds, I am the oldest daughter of five. Made up of the laughter of Colton, Shania, Austin, and Brandon. Memories of small hands always fitting mine. I am changing woman. Salt rocks from the riverbed, from the house by the river, and old country songs on KNMB. Like Miss Hooks, I come from a dysfunctional family. Generationally traumatized parents, and we are past days of barely making rent. Past days of when children were seen and not heard. Past days of not being able to get out of bed and past being scared. With small hands wrapped around a finger, I am from sunny cloudy days at A1 Lake. Fishing and singing from long days of sledding at sunrise, long drives all around the world. My name is Saria, but according to the Declaration of Independence, my name is the merciless Indian savage. Juniper berry stained neck, yellow paint drowning the eyes. I am made up of Cedar Creek and Navajo words that don't leave the mine. I am creator's favorite headache and his favorite Apache. Roads of red dirt and wet soil. I am Spider Woman's favorite yarn to weave. From COVID checkpoints, commodity cheese and dried mud on pants and work boots. I've been invited to more funerals and weddings. And every day I think about how Harris said, Quitters never win and winners never quit, but maybe winners deserve breaks on Tuesdays because we need time to mourn the thousands who died from COVID, the people we've lost from suicide, and our murdered missing indigenous people, and, and, and. On a quiet morning morning, I will not forget those who've passed on. Instead, I'll hold them in sweet words and pearls in the hair and scratch CDs under the passenger side. I am made up of poetry, not in the dead white man way, but in the way that when I write about nature, I write Bethlyagi, and I write how my grandma can be found in the word and in the stem of a flower. I hope my ancestors are having fun, walking all over the world, hands in the water. I sleep comfortably in their prayers every single night. I am a student at the Institute of American Indian Arts where I get to write about everything and anything and I don't need to explain myself or my culture. And on cold Santa Fe Fridays, I wash dishes and say good morning to Nick the janitor. We play hand games on Sundays and I share oranges with my professors and we cook to share in the Student Success Center. In poetry, we share Kool-Aid gummy bears and while watching rainfall, I think about all those res dogs who wait for the stoplight back at home and how there is nowhere else I'd rather be for school. In a Melikani retrospect, I think about high school and crying in lonely bathroom stalls after racist name calling or stereotypes ruining my day and how Thursdays were my favorite days for youth council meetings so I could finally be around other natives. 
Stars blushing on full moon nights, the gust of coffee grounds rewinding the mine. I am from oral traditions. I am from oral traditions and having a bad memory. And from Bob Marley naps with my Uncle Jay and my Auntie Punky. From getting Diet Cokes for elders and Apache words that get caught in the throat. Dried out markers that never get thrown away. Painted Sunday mornings, sharing pressed headaches with friends. Female rain kissing peach trees. In 10 years, I hope I'm back home in White River. Under those pink orange skies and listening to the Salt River. When Kendrick Lamar and Anna Wise made real, I listened close because when he says, sing my song, it's all for you, I think about how I'm made up of my people. In all the futures I'm working on, my people will always be found in the center. Poetry centers for res kids and representation beyond what we have now. I am made up of those pretty Apache grandmas who wear camp dresses to church. Navajo cowboys with calloused hands and res kids that play in the river. Made up of bones and cloud and summer glow of glass, I will be found. Kla'a, Naki, Tagi, Dingi, Ashkla'i, Gustan, Gustigi. Ants march across the ribs of home, and my cherry hands and cherry heart are always full. Ashank, hey, eh.